letter of explanation is one document which I have used during my PR process, during the citizenship process, during applying for visitor visa process, during the grandparent and parent PR program process. And uh, there is no set format which I have used. I have tried to put logic. I have tried to give where if the documents are missing, I've tried to give alternate document and detailed explanation why the document has been not submitted. And if the document has been submitted and I feel that a little more explanation helps, I've done that. That way when someone receives and someone is going through, they have adequate information to take right decision. So what I'm sharing is my personal experience and you must do your due diligence when you are doing anything like this. And if you are in doubt, always seek a professional guidance. Don't rely on someone like me who is on internet coming and sharing personal experience. And in today's video, I will show you how I covered the missing marriage certificate. So I give a heading like letter of explanation. This makes it clear what this document is, then the date when it is made. And if it is primary applicant, primary applicant's name, if it is secondary applicant, write secondary applicant and then name. And if UCI number is there, I always make sure to make an entry. If UCI number is not there and it is getting uploaded with the application, I just leave it blank. And then to whom it may concern. This is the typical, the heading part of it. So as you can see, this is the point five. Um, there were few other explanation which were given and you would have seen those videos. Specific to this, you see here, subject clearly mentioned what this is. Explanation for applicants, marriage certificate, missing in document checklist the form number so that becomes the heading I would like to address the absence of my marriage certificate certifying my marriage with my wife then wife's name unfortunately the original marriage certificate is not available as during our time it was not mandatory and marriage were typically performed by local priests in presence of friend and family member in our village so typically this is how the marriages would happen in those days, say 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. And it was only around 2000, uh, if I remember correctly, you can go and check online. This uh, marriage certificate was made mandatory. Before that, most of uh, the individuals, once they would get married, if they were a government uh, employee, they would just go and update that I'm married and uh, government records uh, would uh, get updated that this person so-and-so is married and this is the date of birth. So that's how this is the date of marriage and that's how every record uh, thereafter would get updated and if the per person would go on pension they would have the spouse detail recorded on the pension document that was the case let's continue as an alternate proof of our marriage i'm submitting several document that consistently list us as husband and wife over the past 35 year. These documents include my pension book, central government health insurance plan, our joint bank account, all of which mention name of the wife as my spouse. Additionally, I am providing a notarized affidavit affirming our marital status and relationship. So in this case, got this notarized affidavit made to affirm that this married people whose name is mentioned and the date what is mentioned is true. So for the notarized affidavit, again, when you go to get a notarized affidavit done, you submit all the required document to the office, like pension book, whatever was mentioned. And then they make those uh, correlations. And based on that, they get this marriage notarization done. That document was also attached. I trust this document will suffice to establish the validity of our marital relationship for purpose of this application. So this is how this explanation was given. Hopefully, this gives an idea of how I dealt with this. And so far, no issues with the IRCC, no questions uh, whatsoever till date. This is how it was done. Thanks for watching.